Now let us discuss indifference point of sale or cost break even point. Indifference point or cost break even point. Whenever we refer to indifference point or cost BEP, we refer to a case or we refer to a point where there are two sales with different different variants and both the sales will end up giving us same profit. We find it difficult to choose between one among those two. We find indifferent to choose among these two. So it's a point at which two different sales meet being same amount of profit yielded in both the cases. So I repeat indifference point or cost break even point is a case where two different variants of sale gives us the same profit. So if they give us two different sales variant, what is the point at which the profit from the first variant and the profit from the second variant meet? So this can be found using our age old formula. If I refer to the profit volume ratio formula, we refer to it as contribution by sales and whenever we refer to indifferent point or cost break even point we are referring to two sales so we will basically not be writing contribution by sales we will be writing change in contribution and change in sales because we have two contributions we have two sales and we will also have two profit volume ratios so change in the profit volume ratio is equal to change in the contribution divided by change in sales if what we want is sales i will write change in sales is equal to change in contribution divided by change in profit volume ratio and now I'll again go back to indifference point or cost break even point I told it is a point at which profit from two different sales is same so there are two different sales and at this point, the profit from both the sales is same, meaning the profit change is zero. When I say the profit in both the cases is zero, the profit is not changing. If I take profit from the first case and deduct it from the profit from the second case, what will I end up with is zero. And when I say change in contribution, we mean change in fixed cost plus change in profit divided by change in profit volume ratio and as I'm telling the change in profit is zero. So what will be my formula? My indifference point of sale is equal to change in fixed cost divided by change in profit volume ratio. Whenever I refer to change in fixed cost, I'm referring to fixed cost of the first sales variant and fixed cost of the second sales variant and the difference between them and change in PVR again is the first sales variant and the second sales variance difference and this is in rupees if I want to find in difference point of sale in units then I'll go back to our old thing, whatever I usually used to refer to total contribution divided by contribution per unit. But whenever we're referring to contribution and then contribution per unit here, we don't have one level of sales here. We're talking about indifference point that is two sales giving same profit. So I'll not just talk about contribution. I'll talk about change in contribution divided by change in contribution per unit. But again, I told you that whenever we talk about change, it's about difference between these two. So if I say change between contribution, I'll tell fixed cost and profit of first level, fixed cost plus profit of second level, and then difference. Here, the difference is only between fixed cost and not profit, again, because the profit is same. So instead of writing change in contribution, I will change it to change in fixed cost. Yeah, it is fixed cost as profit is zero profit between the change between the profits is zero so change in the fixed cost divided by change in contribution or i can also write this as change in fixed cost divided by change in variable cost per unit because the contribution will change exclusively depending upon the variable cost the fixed cost will not affect our contribution so if i take the total fixed cost and divide by contribution per unit change 
or if I divide it by variable cost per unit change, either case, either of the cases, I'll end up with indifference point of sales in terms of units only. And this is indifference point of sale. Let us now discuss the last part of our marginal costing summary that is shutdown point. And whenever we refer to the word shutdown point, we are not referring to permanent shutdown. We are only discussing about the temporary shutdown. And because of any difficulties, if the organization is not making any profit, so then the doubt that will arise is whether to stop the business temporarily and then continue when the season picks up or to continue the business even during that unseasonal time. So this is decided using this concept of shutdown point. And whenever the business is going through difficulty and the sales have fallen down, still it has to pay the same amount of fixed cost. Instead, if the company decides to shut down for a temporary period of time, it might avoid certain fixed cost. So fixed cost can be categorized into two parts. One is avoidable and the other part is unavoidable fixed cost. Avoidable fixed cost is the fixed cost to be incurred only when you run the production. If you stop the production, this fixed cost can be avoided. When you say unavoidable fixed cost, this has to be paid whether you run the production or you don't run the production. Example, if the temporary, if you decide temporarily to shut down the factory, still you need to pay the factory rent because once the temporarily the factory is shut down, you cannot take the entire equipment out. So that is unavoidable fixed cost. You have to end up paying it. Maybe if you're paying any certain expenses which are to be paid only and only when you run the production, that becomes your avoidable fixed cost. As unavoidable fixed cost is paid irrespective whether you run the business or not, this is irrelevant for decision making and we'll never be considering it in our marginal costing chapter. But this is the relevant part and the entire decision making will be with respect to the avoidable fixed cost and shutdown point or shutdown time what we usually call as is the level of sales at which the organization is indifferent whether to continue or to stop. If the amount of sales goes little above the shutdown point, the organization should run the production and then make the sales. If the amount of sales go below the shutdown point or shutdown time, then the organization should not continue any production or sales and it has to temporarily shut down. So it is point at which the organization is indifferent whether to shut down or continue and whenever we say shut down we are talking to talking about temporary shutdown so if the sales in is little more than shutdown point then the organization should run if the sales is little lesser than shutdown point then the organization should shut down at shutdown point the organization is indifferent whether to continue or not and how do we compute shutdown point of sales very simple shut down point of sales our usual sales formula is derived from this PVR formula which is contribution by sales wherein sales will become contribution by PVR and at this level of operation there is no profit I told you the organization is going through a very bad season so this contribution which is fixed cost plus profit by PVR will not have any profit element and it will be only fixed cost and fixed cost can be categorized into two variants that is avoidable and unavoidable. I told you unavoidable fixed cost is not relevant for decision making and only relevant part is avoidable fixed cost. So at shutdown point of sales, our formula to find out the sales is avoidable fixed cost divided by profit volume ratio this is if you are trying to find it in terms of rupees if you want to find it in terms of units again we'll go back to our old formula we used to do total contribution divided by contribution per unit in this case again the contribution will not include the profit element so i'll do fixed cost divided by 
contribution per unit. Again, my fixed cost consists of two parts, avoidable, unavoidable. As unavoidable is irrelevant, I will only take avoidable fixed cost and divide it by contribution per unit. And this is shutdown point. A summary of the entire notes that we've discussed in the part one as well as the part two of marginal costing summary is in the link below. Please do check that PDF file. If you need any topic to be discussed in specific in the video, you can drop it down in the comments and it would definitely be considered.